of. What do you think of uh, Ted Cruz? You know, two, I have two minds on Ted Cruz. Number one, I understand exactly what he's doing. He wants to run for president. He wants to be the head of the re conservative wing of the Republican Party. This was his vehicle. Mm -hmm. That's why he did what he did. I think he no, really think believes, he believes it. I think that Obamacare it. is bad for the, for the country. Yes. I think he's a yes. sincere man. Yes. And I think he was representing the sentiments of his district. Mm -hmm. So all of that is good. But I think that in the end, you have to compromise to some extent to get anything done long term. And so I would like to see Senator Cruz say, all right, if you give us a year and, and don't have the individual mandate for a year, we'll talk about it. I don't want my way or the highway. Well, that's now what that's what I mean, the 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 other, um, you know, you had to play it my way or the highway. And if you don't get it, then you come to a compromise Maybe. position, which is what they've done now. Um, uh, well, we don't know yet. We don't know yet. I mean, wait, 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 wait. Reed is Reed is doing the my. Um, highway, no, Reed has said my way. We're tabling too. it. We're tabling it. It's got to go back to the House. We're not going to deal with it. Well, so he has to deal with it at 2 p.m. today. Yeah, and it, when he, he comes said, back. It just, the news just broke that he is tabling it and saying, we're not dealing with it. Okay. So, therefore, what he's trying to do then is institute a government shutdown. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because unless they have an extension, then I don't believe that's going to happen. I think that they're going to have to. I think they're going to shut it down. Maybe. Um, that's a gamble on Obama's part. If he does that, how do you think the press is going to spin this? I've never seen yeah, anything. Of course, they'll spin it the, uh, the president's way. That's what they always do. And what do you think is going to happen? I don't know if the folks are paying attention. Um, the ratings for this story are terrible on television. Nobody wants to hear about it. It's boring. It's why they hate government in the first place. Are they paying attention? Will they be affected directly? I don't know. It all, def it all depends on how directly people will be affected. What, what does it say about us, Bill? Because you're the guy who watches ratings closer than anybody I've ever seen. You pour over. When I was there, you used to pour over my ratings. I mean, you you study the American people and what they're watching. Correct. You, you look at everybody's ratings. Right. Um, what does it say about us and how do we fix our country if people don't pay attention to real news? Listen, with the computers now, people are creating their own lives they're playing games, they're watching porn, they're doing whatever they want to do, and it's an addiction. So they're becoming addicted, just like it would be to a drug. They have to have a machine in their hands, they have to text, they have to play a game, whatever. All that takes you away from the serious business of running the country and the serious business of living your life. So I do not see uh, that ever changing. So you'll have an elite that rule a country, and then you'll have some people who pay attention, and most people will be living lives of escapism, just like... Happened what does in that, Roman times. So, but do I know that? But what does that lead? That leads you to Roman times. That leads you to an elite governing the country. Now, whether that leads to a collapse or not remains to be seen. But you're going to have a very few people calling the shots because most people aren't paying attention and don't know what the hell's going on. That's why Barack Obama was reelected. The so-called low information voters just voted on a motion. That's what they heard. Did I they think know this anything? is the. I think this is the closest to a depressing ending I've ever heard you come to. Well, I mean, it, it, you used to be like, "Glad it's going to go on. It's been this way forever. You're not there no, now. You're I not mean, where the machines I... are taking over the world. But that doesn't mean there's going to be a collapse. You know, if, if, if a good, smart person who cares about the American people and the country gets elected, then that person will be able to do a lot of good. But if you're telling so wait, me wait, that, wait, that wait. the folks so are going to saying... rally back into the arena and pay attention with all these machines that they have, not going to happen. So wait a minute. So you are saying then we will not be a a real republic anymore. We will be, we will on be paper a, we will be, but, yeah, we'll, but we will the, be the more participation. Of a, maybe more of a, and I hate to use this word because it's so inflammatory, but basically what you're describing is a fascistic sort of rule. Yeah, it depends on who's in power. You right, right. Fascist. Um, well, look, but wait, wait, wait. The but what you're saying fathers, is when the founding, they will make the choices. That's when the founding fathers took over and George Washington was elected, most of the people living in America at that time didn't know what the hell was going on. They were just too busy trying to survive from day to day. And those people, without a lot of uh, input from the folks, put in a system that was the best but those people, humanity has ever but seen. But those people did pay attention to the quality and character of people. And so we're the elite, not... The elite did, but the people mm -hmm. who were farming and the people who were moving west and the people who were trying to struggle in the south, they didn't know what was going on. No, no, so I, no I understand that, but they right. were saying, but they were they were trying to elect 
representatives that were good and decent people. The few who voted were, but most didn't. Most couldn't. So I'm not, as, I'm not as pessimistic as you are. I think that the, but I will be pessimistic in this end. I think right now 50% of Americans have no blanking clue what's going on. And I think that number will rise to 60, 65% in the next 10 years. What happens to when Obamacare is, is put in and people's lives are truly affected? Then the Democratic Party will be banished for 10, 15 years. That's what will happen. They'll be banished. They'll lose. There'll be a Republican president next time around. If Obamacare is a disaster and people are getting hurt, then the Democrats will be held accountable. Do you think there's any chance that it won't be? You know, there are enough people getting subsidies from Obamacare who are going to like those subsidies. So it's not a clear black and white. But do I think it's a chaotic thing that will collapse? Yes, I do. Will it collapse overnight? I don't think so. Next two years? Maybe. It depends how many doctors bail. I See, think the a doctors ton of are doctors the are going to be. The, the insurance companies are already, and we just had a list earlier today of 10 different states where the insurance companies are bailing. And the insurance Edna's companies are just saying, bailed. Yeah, Edna just, the gone. third largest national C- right. insurance company, just bailed. They're saying they're not going right. to have it. And so you get all of these people dumping out and saying, we're not going to. If you get doctors bailing out on this that say, I am not going to take the exchange insurance rates, then you will have a revolution in this country, not just we hate the Democrats. Okay. 